Hey everyone, David here from Exotics. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to pop your hatchlings. The reason for popping is to determine the sex of your snake. You can either pop or you can probe. We prefer to pop. We believe it to be a little bit easier. Um, nothing against probing, but we like efficiency here. We like things to be easier. And when you're trying to pop multiple snakes or sex multiple snakes, we find that popping is an easier method. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay guys, so what you wanna do is you just wanna take your snake, kinda get them stretched out a little bit. Hopefully I don't get bit here. And what you're gonna do is simply going to spin this part around. And here's the cloaca. So you're going to place one thumb in front of it and you'll use the other thumb with your index finger on the back side and you're essentially squeezing and kind of rolling towards this center part. And as you can see, you'll start to get something to come out. And you see the purple on either end? Those are the hemipenes. So they tend to stick out a little bit more. Sometimes they don't, but that, those two purple signs are clear indicator that these are hemipenes. So this right here is a male. Now we'll go ahead and do the same technique on this snake here. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to go towards the backside of the cloaca. We will have our thumbs and we're going to pinch them in and kind of roll towards the center. And don't get scared, that's a little urate. That's gonna happen. And you see how it basically all stays kind of white, kind of clear. And if you look on those ends where I showed you where the purple was, you can kind of see like white bulbs. Those are essentially the scent glands. So this right here is a female. It doesn't hurt them as you can see, but you're not popping a pimple. So you don't need to squeeze with all your might. I suggest using smaller or lower amounts of pressure until you get either the hemipenes or the glands to pop out. And then you can stop applying pressure. Okay guys, so there you saw how easy it was to pop hatchlings. Uh, we always recommend to people who ask, how do I pop, when should I pop, how do I pop? Said that twice. Um, but the idea is that so many people ask those questions and what we always suggest is you wanna do it with hatchlings. Hatchlings have a lot less muscles, they're not as strong, they don't really wiggle out on you as much. Um, so I find it, well actually we find it to be significantly easier. We can always do a separate video if you want on the adults uh, but as the adults are bigger and stronger, they're a little bit harder to pop um, and they will kind of fight you a little bit, kind of wiggle out. Um, so it's so much easier to do it with the hatchlings and that's our preferred method. So guys, if you like this video, if you want to see other videos, please follow our links below, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.